Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I would suggest graphic novels are having a moment. So Allison Street from the Calgary Public Library is here now with five new ones to check out. Good morning to you, Ellie. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Can we actually just remind everybody, like, what exactly is a graphic novel? Well, a graphic novel is, um, you know, what some people would think of as a comic book, but right. it's a little bit more story-driven and not necessarily in, like, a multi-series arc. Okay. okay. Um, and they typically don't have to do with superheroes. Right. So a lot of parents, they don't like it when their kids come home with what they would consider a comic book because they don't see the literary value. But there is so much value in it. Um, there's graphic novels are having a huge moment right now. And yeah. it's a great way for kids to kind of keep on reading during those hard years yes, um, where they maybe don't want to be exactly. doing as much reading. Exactly. Anything that gets them reading, right? Anything that gets them reading. Okay, yeah. terrific. So you've brought a few titles for us to yes, get Yes, and as I just touched on kids' graphic novels, these are all adult graphic novels. Oh, okay. And we have one teen in there. One teen in there as yeah. well. Okay. So here we go. Let's start with this one. Um, so this is by Rachel Lindsay, and it's kind of an autobiography, memoir type uh, book. Now she has depression. She's working actually in an ad agency working on ads for antidepressants. Really? Kind of ironically. <laughs> um, but she's, so she's really struggling and she, her and her family, they can't really seem to come to terms with her diagnosis and how to move forward. So it's a, it's a really in-depth novel and, uh, you know, funny illustrations, yeah. but it's very, uh, very heartfelt, very meaningful. Right. Alluding to that idea that there's a big story in here, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. A lot more than just the pictures. Okay. Terrific. Now moving on to this one. I like the size of this one. Yes, this yeah. one's great. It's called Woman World. So funny. Um, it's based on, or it, it was a comic on Instagram. She started there. Um, now we have a society where all men have, well, there are no men. They haven't oh. all died. They kind of, throughout generations, or less and less men were born, and now the, the world is fully woman. Oh, wow. Um, but it's, it's not really sci-fi. It's really funny. There's just all these kind of like little everyday things that happen that, you know, in a, in a world full of women uh, are just a little bit different than they would have been with men there. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So it's oh, a really interesting that concept, one. and it's also really, it's just a funny book. And do you think just in general graphic novels are easier to read and are quicker to read? They're definitely quicker to read, yes. um, but that doesn't diminish kind of how important they are um, for kids and, uh, and, adults. and adults as well. You know, reading for fun is just as important. Absolutely. As yes. reading to learn. It's so necessary. Yeah. Okay, how about this one? This one I love. It's so important. It's called A Girl Called Echo, uh, Pemmican Ward. Pemmican Wars, and it's the first in a series where a woman or a teenager called Echo actually travels back in time. Whoa! Um, she's a Métis woman, and she can travel back in time to a Métis settlement. She oh. sees a bison hunt, and she also witnesses the start of what was, what became known as the Pemmican Wars in Saskatchewan. Ooh! Oh, that sounds terrific. Yeah, so it's the first in a series. Oh, I might have to take that one home. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, this one looks great. This one's very cute. Bingo love. Um, it's a story of two women that meet when they're 16. Uh, they fall in love at a bingo hall at a charity church event. Um, their families do force them apart. This is in the 1960s. Oh, of course, yeah. They go on. They marry men. They have, um, they have children and families. And then they're reunited one day at another bingo hall in their 60s. And, oh. you know, it's nice to read about whether or not those sparks are still flying. Oh, I love that story. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely story. Oh, okay, terrific. All right, and then finally, why do I recognize this one? Okay, I'm yeah. not sure. Have you read My Boyfriend is a Bear? My Boyfriend is a Bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very funny. Um, our main character, Nora, she's having no luck with men, so she decides to date an actual 500-pound American black bear. Oh, okay. And the story is all about whether or not she's better off dating a wild animal than some <laughs> of the men that she's been meeting uh, beforehand. So it's, it's very funny. It's very cute. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, if you're, if you're dating right now, you might get a You might have that. a laugh with this one. Yeah. Okay, terrific. So lots to choose from when it comes to graphic novels. Yes. Thank you so much for this. Of course, Ellie's going to stick around because it is our day for the book club. So okay. we are talking about this book today, which is Where'd You Go, Bernadette? This one is a riot. I yes. thought it was terrific. Tell us just quickly a little bit about this one. Um, well, it's all about Bernadette. She's living in Seattle and maybe not enjoying her life too much. Uh, and then she suddenly goes missing, and her daughter is kind of left to put together the pieces of what happened to yes. that she left. Where'd you go, Bernadette? Mm -hmm. Okay, so please join us at 9.30 on Facebook Live. It'll be a very lively discussion because I know there are some differing opinions yes, on this one. Great. So please join us, and we'll also tell you what the next book club pick is and that moment at 9.30 on Facebook Live. All right, we're going for a break. We'll be right back with news, weather, and traffic.